Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the Central Core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the Core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. But you want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? I... don't want to go. I cannot judge you. You've seen yourself die once, and that's probably once too many. There are volunteers that will gladly take your place. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I've decided not to go back in time. Plenty of volunteers wanted to take my place. John Connor chose a man from amongst them. I only hope that he does a better job than I did. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. Erin died in that shelter. She believed that her work was helping win the war, and she was right. I hope now she can finally rest. Ryan stayed in the shelter and died. He was a good man, with a good heart. Jennifer and Patrick died at the hands of Terminators in the shelter. I wish there was something I could have done to make them leave. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons.
And as for me, it was time to start over.